In any war, brilliant military leadership can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The American Civil War produced some of history's most extraordinarily gifted and audacious generals on both sides. For the Union, its two most indispensable commanders were an unlikely duo who rose from humble beginnings Ulysses S. Grant and William Tecumseh Sherman. Grant had been a young failed businessman before rejoining the army and displaying his signature traits granite determination and a relentless willingness to wage unforgiving campaigns of attrition against the Confederacy. It was Grant's genius for honing in on the enemy's weaknesses that allowed him to finally capture Richmond and secure Robert E. Lee's surrender in 1865. As Lincoln aptly stated, he fights. His closest friend was William Tecumseh Sherman, a born strategic visionary. Sherman pioneered and executed the devastating March to the Sea through the Deep South applying total war by cutting off the Confederacy's sources of supplies and morale. His scorched earth policies were controversial, but underlined Sherman's appreciation that modern industrialized war demanded uncompromising solutions. Opposing them was the Confederacy's most revered figure General Robert E. Lee. The son of a revolutionary war hero, Lee was a brilliant defensive tactician who maximized his undermanned and ill-equipped army's courage and mobility. While ultimately being ground down by the Union's superior resources, Lee's tactical genius at Chancellorsville and other battles cast a long shadow over the Civil War's history and mythology. From Grant's dogged tenacity to Sherman's revolutionary tract of total warfare and Lee's legendary defensive acumen, these three generals each exemplified the blend of boldness, innovation and intellect demanded to succeed in the Civil War's chaos. Their decision-making undeniably shaped the conflict's titanic campaigns and outcome. Join us tomorrow for the final installment of our American Civil War series, The Civil War's End and Complicated Legacy, Appomattox to Reconstruction.